show. This is family friendly. <laughs> ladies, 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 please hold, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Calm down, ladies. Calm down. I know. I know. I'm gorgeous. I know. Hi, I gotta welcome to Three Minute John. And now the news. A brand new iPhone with a headphone jack. I know, right? I swear it's not clickbait. It's a brand new iPhone and it has a headphone jack. It's hard to believe, right? But it's true. It's 100% true. You know, good old John doesn't lie to you, right? Right? I don't know. A South Korean carrier called SK T-Link is selling brand new iPhone 3GSs. Yeah, the 2009 iPhone is back! Because the carrier found an unsold batch of brand new sealed iPhone 3GS devices in a warehouse. What? I, I didn't lie. It's an iPhone. It's not used, so it's new, and it has a headphone jack. Where's the lie? Don't, don't you boo me! Don't you boo me, boo you! Boo! 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 Boo yourself, you mother booer! The 9-year-old phones are going on sale at the price of 44,000 won, that's around $41, and before they reach the stores, the batteries will be tested to see if they still work. Now, I know it's not the most powerful phone out there, but it's a very cheap new iPhone. The lowest cost iPhone right now is the iPhone SE, and that costs $350. Plus, it's vintage, a collector's item. Plus, it has a headphone jack. Plus, you get to visit South Korea when you go there to buy it. So, stop it. Stop booing! It, it's good and fair tech news. It, it's just, it's just f off. A brand new sickness called gaming. Yeah. Again, not clickbait. I remember when my mom used to tell me that I have a problem for playing GTA 3 all day long. Then I grew up, went to college. That was the best time for gaming. And then came the girlfriend that became my wife. And the... She hates it when I play. You better not be playing, you fat, worthless piece of shit! But she loves me. Love you. But fear not, fellow gamers, because it's not your fault you like gaming so much. No, you're suffering from gaming disorder. Yep, the World Health Organization has officially recognized gaming disorder and put it in the latest edition of its internal classification of diseases. The volume diagnoses the new disorder as follows. Impaired control over gaming, increasing priority giving to gaming to an extent that gaming takes precedence over other life interests and daily activities. Continuation or escalation of gaming despite the occurrence of negative consequences. Mm hmm Yeah. It's serious. Now, I know that for many people, gaming is not just a fun way to pass the time, it's more like an addiction. Like my chocolate addiction, and my hamburger addiction, or my cheeseburger addiction, and my pizza addiction, and my waffle addiction, bread addiction, my ice cream addiction, <gasps> sausages addiction, my steak addiction, my cake addiction, <laughs> my schnitzel addiction, my meatball addiction, my slanina addiction, my but that is what humans do. They clench to something they like and they consume it until it begins to consume them. Oh my god, that was so deep. I, whew, I scared myself a little bit. Wow. All I can recommend is to do everything with a limit. So put down your joystick, put down your mouse and go outside and have some fun. Another good advice from the family friendly 3 Minute John. Yeah, Chuck, do you have any more of the chocolate? You... Chuck, the... Chuck, come back! Chuck, give, give me that chocolate, you mother... A brand new bezel-less phone! Suck it, Notch! Introducing the new Find X from Oppo! Find X? So we got the iPhone X, the upcoming Galaxy X, and the Find X. X, X, X. Mm -hmm. Oppo is a Chinese company that also owns OnePlus and has the same parent company as Vivo. They're all a big Chinese family. The unveiling event was held at the Louvre Museum in Paris. Fancy. And the screen to body ratio is at 93.8% in your face, Apple.
That, my friends, I believe is the highest screen-to-body ratio on a flagship smartphone. In order to achieve this, they made a pop-up camera, which they call Stealth 3D Camera. Because it's hidden, but when you need it, it pops up just like this. It doesn't have a fingerprint sensor, but it uses what they call O-Face, which I guess is Chinese for Face ID. And because of the 3D camera, it will have Omoji, which I guess is Chinese for Animoji. Everybody's copying Apple. The specs are very promising. And they have a special edition Find X Lamborghini, which can fully charge the 3400 milliamp battery in 35 minutes. And in only five minutes, you get two hours of battery life. Now that is impressive. And if it doesn't explode, it's even more impressive. It's gonna be available in August, but I have three problems with it. First, it has no headphone jack. It's hard to get past this, but hey, no notch. Second, the price. Find X costs 1,000 euros. That's almost $1,200. And the Find X Lamborghini costs 1,700 euros. That's $2,000. And third, could cost the more? Doom! <laughs> Sum up. Yeah, apparently that's the price if you don't want bezels or that god awful notch. But come on, $1,200 for a Chinese phone that doesn't even have an Apple logo on it. Or some other fruit like a plum or a peach or a pizza. But Oppo? I don't really think this is gonna be a popular phone. What, pizza isn't a fruit? But this type of pop-up camera technology keeps popping up on phones. Is this the future of mobile devices? Or is this just a weird phase that will soon blow over like the Nokia 7600? Ugh. Leave a comment and let me know. This was the show. Thanks again very much for watching. As always, remember to subscribe, share this with your friends, click on notifications. I'm John. Until next week, keep it safe and secure. Cheers. Mom, I can't go to school. I'm sick. What's wrong, honey? I have gaming disorder. Oh, my poor baby. Let mommy make you better. Yeah, let me just... What? What? Now get your ass to school before I turn your PC into pieces. Yeah, mom. God damn it.